Interglobex is a global solutions company focusing on the convergence of data centers, subsea, and terrestrial fiber. Vinay Nagpal, president, talks to me now on how these come together to work in the net computing market. Uh, Vinay, thanks a lot for talking to me. Let's start with what does Interglobex does. Sure, thanks for having me. So Interglobix is focused on providing global consult consultancy and uh, solutions uh, focused around convergence of data centers, terrestrial fiber, and subsea fiber. There's been tremendous growth in data centers and the subsea industry is experiencing a significant resurgence. And if you look at uh, what's happening now from a subsea perspective, the subsea industry is looking at having more pop-to-pop -pop, uh, deployments, which is really deploying at the edge and having a subsea co-location ecosystem develop. And the data center industry is also looking at working more hand-in-hand -hand with the subsea industry uh, to have uh, continental edge established and build that ecosystem. And of course, terrestrial fiber is a key component of it where you need terrestrial fiber to get that traffic that the subsea cables bring to other places. Okay. How much are the hyperscalers influencing this market? Yeah, so hyperscalers, you know, there are a couple of things happening. Obviously, the hyperscalers are doing their global rollout of uh, mega data centers where they're bringing an enormous amount of compute uh, into different locations around the world. And, uh, you know, their preference is to have subsea cables land near or around those locations, ultimately to have, uh, you know, lower latency and better throughput uh, between their uh, between their build outs and between their uh, hyperscale locations. To give you an example, uh, you know, Google just announced a new cable called Dunant, mm. which is going to go from the French Atlantic coast to, um, to, to Virginia Beach. Ultimately, their goal is to build their, uh, to connect their Google Cloud platform in uh, Belgium to their new Google Cloud platform that they're going to be building in uh, Western Loudoun County, where they bought two parcels of land. So you see this trend happening globally where the hyperscale compute power is being c connected directly to the subsea cables that the hyperscale providers are getting more and more into in, in terms of owning the subsea capacity and in times even operating it as well. Hmm. Now, if we look into edge computing, what is Interglobix doing to really help edge computing get off the ground? Sure, so edge computing obviously manifests in a number of different ways. Interglobix is involved in some of the subsea projects where at the edge you're, si you're seeing deployment of uh, prefabricated units which uh, are not just cable landing station but, but eventually become subsea co-location ecosystems. So there's that, then of course you have IoT which is uh, taking off very rapidly and there's more and more push towards having content to the edge. So Interglobix is actively involved, uh, you know, from an edge computing infrastructure as well. Okay. And what's the strategy plan for the next few months, for the next couple of years? Uh, what are you going to be working on? Who are you talking to? Yeah, so I think we're going to continue to see more and more convergence of the data center industry with the subsea and terrestrial fiber. I think the data center industry has already started to work more uh, proactively with the subsea industry to understand where these landing points are and what uh, the data center operators can do from the perspective of helping build that ecosystem. So that's one part of our focus. We also have a marketing arm which is focused on uh, launching um, industry's first um, high-end uh, publication focused on data centers, connectivity, luxury, and lifestyle. So you'll see our focus as a two-pronged approach going forward. Mm, okay. And in terms of financing and investment, for example, where we getting the money from, where's, where's the funding coming from, um, and where are you going to apply the, the budget? Yeah, so we are a privately held company mm. at the moment and uh, self-funded. And mm. uh, in terms of uh, deployment of mm. the capital, it's uh, focused around, again, you know, on both the aspects of the business, the consultancy aspect and the marketing arm as mm. well. Okay. And then we are at the Edge Congress 2018 in Austin for the first time. 12 months time, we're going to be back here in Austin. What do you expect to see that we have changed in 12 months, a challenge, a trend? What's going to be the main topic for the next 12 months that we're going to... So, really um, focusing on. great question. Uh, I think we heard one of the panelists talk mm -hmm. about having 74 IP addresses in their home mm -hmm. in terms of the deployment of IoT and different devices. I have close to 30 and I thought that was a, that was a pretty high number. I think uh, as the adoption of uh, you know, more and more IoT enabled devices will continue on the home front and you see deployment of uh, more edge computing to take place at the base of cell towers, I think that deployment will start becoming mainstream. Mm -hmm you'll start seeing uh, more uh, edge data centers being deployed from a subsea perspective as they continue to evolve to become uh, subsea co-location ecosystems mm -hmm. to have that aggregation of traffic and handoff of traffic taking place uh, uh, at, the, at the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vinay, thanks a lot for talking to me. Thanks for having me. Um, don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and also visit the website on www.data-economy.com.